Hey guys, it's me Macy and today I have another video for you guys and we're just gonna kind of ignore my hair today Um, but today I will be showing you some of my favorite lippies and I'll be swatching them on my lips for you guys and Yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I actually have not um Picked out like gathered all my favorite lippies yet So I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back Okay guys, so I've gathered um, all my favorite lippies, and I do have, like, I have a couple more that I kind of like, but these are the ones that I use a lot, and just these are some of my favorites. Over here I'm like pointing them to you, but you can't really see them. So as you can see, I mean there's not that many of them, but I don't want this to be a super long video, and these are like all of my favorite lippies, so... Yeah, let's hope this video is not like 30 minutes long and we're gonna get right into it. So, the first, and I actually couldn't find like makeup remover wipes, so I'm gonna have to use toilet paper and liquid makeup remover. The first one I'm going to start off with is this Clinique one, and it is an AG Soft Bloom, and it's just a really, if you, all my favorite lippies are in like kind of the same color range except for just a couple of them um they're kind of like this kind of like mauve like my lips but better color um but this is what the Clinique one looks like in the tube and like I said I will be trying all these on for you guys okay so this is what the color looks like on and it's just a really it's a very sheer color and I just really like it it's good for like a school kind of thing um, because it's not super pigmented it's just a really pretty like light pinkish color I guess you could say okay so my second favorite and I'm not going in order of like my least favorite to my favorite or my favorite to my least favorite I'm kind of just doing like a random order my next one is this Tarte Lip Surgeon and Flashy and this one's super mini because I got it in a Tarte, like, holiday set. So it wasn't, like, a full-size one. It was just, like, a little sample. So, yeah. Um, this one is, as you can see, it's basically kind of the same color. I don't wear this, um, that much. This one's a little bit darker than the Clinique one. But I really like this one because it's just a super pretty color. Um, this one's really easy to apply because it has the kind of like pencil-like tip if you saw that. Um, but yeah, I just think this is um, a very pretty natural color. And I'm sorry if this video is kind of annoying because they're all like the same color. They have, they may be the same like base color, but they're all just a little bit different and different brands. And they're all good formulas. Um, I wouldn't really be able to tell you how long they last because I don't really test that out when I'm wearing lipstick, but they definitely mostly come off after I eat. And it gets really annoying because I'll do my makeup like be right before lunch and then I'll eat lunch and then my lipstick will be gone, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so my next lippy is a gloss and it's a very, very sheer gloss. I I don't usually wear this on its own. I pair it with another lippy, which I'll be showing you next. But I thought I would just show you what this looks like just by itself. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. Sorry. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. And this one's great because it's drugstore. And yeah. So this is what the gloss looks like, and as you can see, it's just kind of like a shine, but it makes your lips a little bit more, I don't know, like, just more like a color and not just like a lips, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like what they call, you know, my lips, but better color. That's kind of like what this is, but in a more sheer and glossy form. And I'm sorry, like, I have very small lips, if you have not noticed yet, as you can see, I have very small lips. It, especially my top one but I hope you can see it good on the bottom one because my top one kind of has a shadow on it I think but yeah it's just a light pinky color and I really like it so my next one is this Ulta 
matte lip crayon and raspberry rose and i actually got this for like 69 cents or something like that so me and my mom both got one and i really like this one um it was i wore this all the time and during the winter and fall and stuff like that Okay, so this is what um, the Raspberry Rose looks like, and I love this one, especially for the winter. It's definitely one of my favorites, and it's super moisturizing, and it's matte, and moisturizing and matte don't always go together, so that's why I really like this one, because it's just a pretty matte color, and it's also not drying. And so that's what it looks like on its own, but sometimes when I wore this color, I would um, use the NYX Butter Gloss that I just showed you um, on top of it just to kind of make it a little bit lighter, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it definitely makes it a lighter color and it adds a shine to it if you don't like a matte color. Um, so yeah, that's what the Ulta Lip Crayon and the NYX Butter Gloss look like together. Sorry if the lighting's kind of a little wacky because I'm using the natural light from outside. I'm filming right in front of the window. window. Window is right here. Um, so the sun will like go behind a cloud and then it will get a little bit darker. Then it will come back out. Then it will be brighter. So I'm sorry about that. This next one is a... Um, lip tint and I'm actually not going to put it on just because it is like a tint and kind of like a stain so and I don't want it to affect the colors I will be trying on later so this one is the Peri Para Peri's tint and um it's very cute packaging as you can see I got this in like an ipsy got some lipstick on my hand um, I got this in an Ipsy, but I use it, um, a lot, especially because it's, like, a stain, so it stays on a little bit longer than regular lipstick. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys, just so that you can see. So this is what it looks like if you just kind of rub it on, but I'm gonna rub it in a little bit. Because usually when you put on... Um, lipstick you kind of rub your lips together so that's kind of what it looks like it's just a very um, light just kind of hint of color so yeah that's what that one looks like just a swatch for you guys okay this next one um, I wore a lot in the beginning of the summer but I haven't been um, because I've done a combo of two colors, which I will show you. I'm actually going to show you guys that one next. Because I only have like three more, including this one. So I'm going to show you guys that one next. But this is the CoverGirl um, lipstick. This is part of their lipstick collection. It is in Bombshell Pink, number 425. And as you can see, it's a bright pink color. And you're probably thinking, I'm way too young to be wearing a bright pink. You're probably right, but you know whatever you do what you get. I don't know I'm swatching because I'm gonna be putting it on for my lips but I actually don't just put it on like you would regularly do a lipstick I kind of put it on my bottom rub it in with my top I'll kind of show you how I do it so I put a little bit on my bottom and I rub it through my top and then I kind of go down here in the corners and just put a little bit more on down there and then I rub it together so this is what it looks like i feel like i've said that so many times in this video um but i really like this color it's just really good for the summer the lip color so yeah i really like this one like i said for the summer it's perfect and it's a really good formula it's very moisturizing I just spilled a bunch of my makeup remover. Oh my gosh. I need to fix this. I spilled it all over my legs. 
and my futon. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm back, and now I have a big stain on my futon. Hopefully, it will dry. So this is like my last real favorites. Um, it's a combo. My legs are like all wet. Okay, so it's a combo of two different products. First is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Lip Liner, and this is a nude. So I got this in a birch box or an Ipsy. I forget which one, but yeah there's that and then my mac lipstick in syrup and this is a luster color and i really really like this color this color is great on its own um but i really like to pair it with a lip liner just kind of make it a little bit more intense if you want to say I'm putting the lip liner on and I'm filling in my lips with the lip liner and I'm gonna put on my MAC lipstick mine's like a really weird shape <laughs> you can see that okay so this has been like my favorite lippy for the past couple of weeks I've been wearing it all the time and I just love it so much it's like it's kind of like all of my other colors like you know like the base color that i said but it's just darker and it's a super pretty combo and i love it so much so yeah this is what the mac and the lip liner look like okay guys so that those were my favorite lippies and i really hope you guys like this video i'm sorry if it's a little bit long um, but definitely check out some of these lip products. They're really good. They're all great formula and they look really nice. So yeah, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more lippy videos or just makeup videos or any kind of videos. Um, also subscribe down below. Um, we're at like 86 or 87, I want to say. So definitely subscribe so we can get to 90. We're very close to 90 and 90 is very close to 100. And that's amazing. So also comment down below other video ideas or also comment down below some of your favorite lippies or if you uh, have some of these lippies that I showed you or love some of the lippies that I've showed you like I do. So yeah hope you guys liked it i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you had or have a great day